Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your October mid-month tarot reading. This is a reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday to all of you who are celebrating if this is your sun sign. I hope Libra season is treating you right. And we are going to jump right into the reading. I do want to let anyone who's new here know that I post new readings on Friday and then again on Monday. So I always appreciate it when you hit the like button because then that helps people to know these readings are out there. But I also post a Wednesday reading periodically for money and career. So if you do hit the like button, that will also tell YouTube to let you know in the algorithm when those other readings are posted. What advice do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Libra need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Libra? Messages, wow, we got them flying all over. For Libra, please. All right, so we've got a couple of clarifiers. Guess what else? We're also going to use the Moonology Manifestation to set the table here, but we are doing a detailed Celtic cross style reading today. Current situation, eight of wands, immediate influence, three of pentacles. The ace of cups is in your subconscious. You have the tower in the distant past, the hangman. I actually like that in the more recent past. Um, you've got here the two of wands coming towards you. You're represented by the world. You're attracting the nine of cups. You've got the knight of wands in your hopes and fears. Seven of Pentacles in the outcome. Now, let's see here. We have the, um, and then we're going to take one of the bottom cards as a clarifier, okay? So, we have these two come out. This is interesting with these three. We'll talk about this in just a minute, but I mentioned before, we are going to start off with this Moonology Manifestation. I've already shuffled the cards, but we will cut them so you know I'm not pulling anything. Full moon in Sagittarius. Okay, so here's kind of the theme of the reading. See the bigger picture. Aren't those cards beautiful? I absolutely love them. You have here three major, no, four major arcana. We have here quite a bit of change. I feel like you're going to be coming into a payoff. And so if it's something to do with a job or a housing situation, you have great communication coming in. But I do think like with this, combo down here. We have Capricorn. Did I mention that? Water, fire, quite a bit of fire, earth as well, and air, of course, here. I feel like you're going to be free of something. If you have anything to do, any kind of a transaction, anything that you're purchasing, you won't get, I heard, the horn swoggled. You won't have some pushy person with that devil energy manipulate you into doing anything you don't want to do. Not with that king of swords. I mean, he is the ultimate authority, but it's also, too, being very rational. You make very rational decisions. So it's like you won't lead blindly with your heart. You'll see things for what they are. And it may be too about letting go of something from the past. If you had a breakdown with a relationship, and especially too, if that page of swords has had you doing some internet spying that you know is not good for you, like it makes you more obsessed or more connected in a negative way to this person, or it kind of irritates you. I heard riles you up. And I also get too, disconnecting with gossip. I mean, have you ever found that? Because I keep getting this for somebody here, that when you talk about people who are unjust individuals, and it's not that they did something right, they did everything wrong, but the more you put into talking about them, the more it aggravates you. I feel like you're going to be hitting a turning point where that's just not that, it's not that interesting, but you also see that it's actually hurting your own energy. So I feel like moving forward, your focus is going to be on making gains. And you have a love relationship here too, by the way. Um, you're attracting it with that beautiful Ace of Cups in your subconscious. Now, if you're in a relationship right now, I don't see it ending, okay? But I do feel like there was an ending for somebody with the tower in the past. That's definitely here. And truthfully, the tower comes right after the devil and then the star comes in. We don't have the star here. I would have liked to have seen it, um, but that's all right. Um, but with this devil energy, it really is a release. It lets you go of any old patterns that don't serve you. And so it's also too, an, there's an illumination coming, things that you need to see information. If you have questions about why, you're going to get all those answers. And it, for some, it's, it may be a bit painful. I'm not going to lie to you about that. But I do feel like it almost causes you, I see somebody dropping something, like when you pick up something that's hot, 
You know how brief that is that you've touched something that's hot and let go of it? It reminds me of that where you just go, okay, this doesn't, this doesn't serve me anymore. I'm done with it. And so I do feel like you're going to move forward in a very positive way, but you're also moving forward on your own terms. And so your current energy, I like this a whole lot. You're going to get information here and you have wonderful teamwork. So if it's something to do with a job, if you lost a job with the tower or you just got very complacent at a job, like there was a shift around you with the other people who were hired in and you really don't enjoy working with them, I feel like you're going to move on where work is a whole lot more meaningful, but it's actually fun. It actually fills your cup up. Now, now I do want to tell you this because it's coming in just as far as for some, I feel like you have a nice team atmosphere, but these people may not be your best friends. You may decide, I'm going to have some boundaries at work. I'm not going to necessarily, you know, reveal every personal detail about myself, and I'm going to keep it that way, especially if you have friends outside of work, and you think you don't really want to hang out with these people, because truthfully, they're there for a paycheck. Um, but I do feel like you're moving forward. And so if it is an issue with boundaries, like you had somebody at your last job, who betrayed you in some way, or they were kind of a snake. I just think you're going to move into a new job with a different way of interpersonally relating to people. And it's not bad. I feel like it actually really allows you to be very productive at work. I work with two people that will sit and go into one of their offices for like an hour at a time. And they're the, the two worst, most unproductive people I work with. And everybody knows it. So I do feel like sometimes that's actually a helpful thing is to have some boundaries. So get ready for this because you have good news on the way. Now, I will tell you, too, this is nice for housing as well. It's nice for housing, for partnerships. So if you've been waiting on an issue like you or somebody that has fallen prey to all of a sudden skyrocketing HOA fees, skyrocketing insurance premiums, and you're going, holy crap, I can't keep my my dwelling insured here, you're going to get good news here that's going to allow you to move forward. And some of you, it may even involve a sale or if you've already sold something and you've been waiting to find out when is this thing closing. I feel like you almost, I keep getting that hot potato energy, like you almost can't wait to be done with it. And here's where everything moves forward. So with this beautiful energy coming in, especially with you being represented by the world, and these, this Ace and Nine of Cups, in terms of relationships, boy, are you manifesting your heart's desires. You sure are on the right track. And if this is your sun sign, you may find that that opens a door for somebody to creep on in. And I shouldn't say creep because it feels very positive. They feel like a Nine of Cups. It opens a door for somebody to communicate with you. You know, happy birthday. Can I take you out to lunch? Happy birthday. Are you going to fill in the blank, that sort of thing. Have you ever been here? It makes it very easy for them to start up a, a conversation. And for some reason, I feel like it could be another Libra. That would be nice, wouldn't it? And so with this Ace of Cups, though, I do feel like with this, it's a wonderful point of attraction because this coming out of your subconscious is going to draw into your awareness everything that's meaningful, that you love, and it creates an evolution. So it's not like just a stop and start kind of thing. It's a let's keep this moving for as long as we both shall live, if that's how you want it. Now, Abraham Hicks has always said that the perfect wedding vows is, are, are I like you pretty well, let's see how this goes. And, you know, so some of you may be more in that uh in, in that side of things in terms of commitment. And that's okay too. You do what works for you. I mentioned before you had a big shift here and I actually don't feel like this was that great of a feeling, but I actually feel like it was also necessary. And, and you may say too, I know I manifested it. I know I did because you may have wanted out of something, but we're too afraid to take the action. So the tower does for us what we won't do for ourselves. The universe comes in and hits that eject button so hard, whether it launches us out of a situation or somebody else out of the situation, but it sure does make things a lot easier. Because when you're living with this hanging over your shoulder, you're living in the devil toxicity, and you can't get comfortable there. And so I feel like ultimately it always is for you, even if it's hard. And I feel like too, when I've had tower moments, I could really look back and say, I know that had to happen. And so it may create a little bit of a midlife crisis, at least for a minute, but you're adjusting. And with the hangman here, and especially having the world right after it, 
the number four is quite important. I always point this out that their legs are both in the number four. I sometimes sleep like that. Does anyone else here do that? I don't know why I started it many years ago. It wasn't related to the tarot, um, but occasionally I do and I find it quite comfortable. So anyway, um, I feel like it's related though somehow alchemically, I, I don't know. Um, but with this hanged man energy, this is where you kind of get right with change where you say, hey, I'm gonna get into the flow of this. I'm gonna go with it because what we resist persists. You're gonna be easy about life. I'm gonna just keep moving forward. I'm gonna have hope, I'm gonna have faith, and I'm gonna let it all work out with some action. So especially with that two of wands coming up the rear, we'll get to that in a minute. I do feel like those of you that it was a relationship that ended, you're moving forward into a much better path. So with this too, this is about partnerships, but it's also about expansion and you have the garden of the magician there, they're telling you it's time to take a leap of faith. So if something's turned toxic around you and you still haven't made a move, it, I feel like it's they're kind of pushing on that because with the tower, you'll feel much more in control if you make the move rather than just wait and see what happens. So for some, I feel like this is pivotal. I even hear imperative. If it's a job change or again, a housing change, and again, you might already be underway with it and saying, Yep, I'm. it's already an escrow or whatever. It's just saying that you're on the right path. So speaking of which, the world is when everything you wanted happens. So we see the bigger picture with the world. Your, your perspective gets bigger here. It changes. You also have your uh, perspective changing with the hangman. It's an illumination or a waking up period. But when you get to the world, it's when everything you wanted happens. It's when you really say it was all worth it, all the price of contrast, I hated it, I was pissed off about it, but I'm here, I'm doing it. And if this is your sun sign, get ready to be spoiled. I do feel like somebody here, you're gonna have many surprises and I'm not gonna go any farther with it than that because I don't wanna ruin the surprise and I don't want you running around like a page of swords trying to figure out the surprises. And especially if you were the kid that liked to unwrap your Christmas gifts, take a peek and rewrap them. Okay, if that was you, I'm not giving you any more. Um, but let me know, okay, when the surprises come in, because I do feel like you're going to be surprised. And it's going to be something that moves you. You're going to be on the receiving end of a gift if this is your sun sign or a gesture. It's very thoughtful, though. It takes more than just money. I mean, money is nice, but when something's meaningful, when it really captures the essence of your relationship with somebody, boy, that is something that will stay with you for a long, long time. This is special energy. And with the Nine of Cups, you're going to be in a great place. In terms of relationships, in terms of attracting a Nine of Cups relationship, it's definitely somebody that is going to connect with you. Somebody who's going to understand you and they just light up your life. It's that kind of love. It's that kind of relationship. So the Knight of Wands says, let's get this party started, but let's get moving here. The Knight of Wands doesn't like to sit around. It's always busy, busy, busy. This night when it's bored, is it gets agitated. So we don't want to get agitated with this night. Uh, we don't want to slow down the pace and try to stop it from happening. Because truthfully, the universe is trying to lead you on your path of your most joy. And so when we resist it, it actually can create more havoc than good. So if life is picking up for you, I'd say go with it. Um, so with the Seven of Pentacles, it's your time to harvest. You have definitely good news on the way, like we were talking about earlier. And especially if it's something to do with money with this. This is money grows on trees in the tarot. But with this too, it may be a time where you pause just a little bit, just briefly. It's not a huge pause. But where you kind of look at where your life is and say, you know what, I know I'm on the right track. I know that everything is moving forward. And for those of you too, that it's something to do with a job or a sale of something, here's where you get the here's where you get the money coming in. Okay. So if it's an offer that you've been waiting on, you got an offer coming in. In terms of relationships, though, I will say too, you're gonna have an offer for a long-term commitment. And I feel like it's gonna be up to you, Libra, what you want to do with that. All right, let's see here what the Fortune Oracle wants to tell you about money. Sorry, I had a computer next to me telling me that I've spent enough time on the computer, I guess. Oh, boy. Okay. You have the world. We have double world, which doesn't happen very often. There aren't really synchronicities. 
between the tarot and the oracle, so it's important when they happen. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. This is like having a brand new lease on life. I'm telling you, you're going to feel like you are on top of the world in this next cycle. All right, what else does Libra need to know about love, please? Advice for Libra about love. Messages for Libra about love. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. So connect with that new partner or the one that you're already with and don't be shy about it. Good things are on the way for you, Libra. I love you and I'll be back again soon.